listen to this place. Oh, big shot by McGregor. Look at the clock closely. Ten seconds. Oh, he's Could he finish him here? Connor McGregor is a UFC wow. intro featherweight champion. Wow. Nobody can take that left hand shot. It's as simple as that. Everyone breaks, and he broke. Andre Pettinera, his, uh, his coach, called and basically said that Aldo's rib is too painful and uh, he will not be fighting. So Chad Mendez now will fight Conor McGregor for the interim belt. Uh, if a man is scared for his life, we cannot force him to step inside and face me. You know, I feel he is afraid. The doctors have cleared him to fight. It's a bruise, but he has still pulled out. So rightfully so, the belt should be taken from him and we should... Uh, contest for the interim belt, or in my opinion, the real belt. Do you feel like this fight then is for the real featherweight title? You're fit to fight and you're not gonna fight. The belt rightfully should be stripped and this is for the real featherweight belt. It would have been nice if Jose didn't f*** me out, but we'll take the substitute, you know, we'll, we'll take we'll take the B-level guy and we'll still, we'll still break records with this. They're gonna wanna watch me destroy Connor. Chad, you have, There's Chad, your numbers be, are so low, be. kid. There's gonna the be uh, are so a lot low. of people tuning in. They ain't tuning in for you, Chad. Let's no. let's call a spade a spade here. They ain't no, tuning they, in for they you. They want to see me sure. crush your face. Come people on, hate listening to you talk. You. They so hate your mouth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher you. You should have no. stayed home, kid. No, I'm gonna you shouldn't answer that phone. Yeah? <laughs> you shouldn't answer that phone. It's always just exciting to get in when there's a lot of hype around a fight. You know, sometimes it's tough when there is none, you know. It's, sometimes it's tough to stay motivated in the gym when you're going through the same grind every single day. So when you got someone feeding your fire, it definitely makes for a more interesting training camp. Uh, anytime you're in there pushing yourself to the limits, you have that in the back of your mind to just go that little extra. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I don't think... Uh... I don't think Las Vegas knows what they're in for the next couple of days. Yesterday, Connor was talking about some tweets that you sent to uh, Jose Aldo, and he's move, yeah? That's, that was a move, little You're coward, a trying to be friendly. You're you. trying to be little friends with him. Mm. Oh, please, can I have your fans? It's a move, yeah? It's, it's what a man bro, does when respect. he's close Something to death. you know nothing when about When a man is close to death, that's what it's he does. He looks to punch up. Athlete. When a man is close God, to I'm death, that's what he looks to do. He looks to booty up. Keep talking. I can't even understand what you're saying. Connor, let me just ask you, you mentioned in the past that you're going to butcher this guy. Explain that to me. Yeah, his facial structure will be rearranged after the fight. Um, he is a novice on the feet. He swings the overhand, looks at the floor, closes his eyes, hopes for the best. You know, I don't see smoothness on, uh, in, in the wrestling ex exchanges. It's more of a drive, a push. <laughs> this isn't yoga. We're fighting, dude. It's going to be uncomfortable. I've been ready for this fight since the first time I've seen him fight in the UFC. Here we go! overblown midget um, tomorrow night I'm gonna come in half and raise gold for Ireland for my country this is awesome man look at this Woo! it's time to take what's mine baby all right gentlemen we've been over the rules protect yourself at all times follow my instructions touch gloves if you wish come out ready to fight how good is this? McGregor, Mendez. Interim featherweight belt is the prize to the winner. McGregor just can't stop talking. Good. Here we go. Spinning back kick immediately. Chad's got his back, and Connor gets.
gets back up. He tagged him. Right. Chad looking to utilize his wrestling role. Connor has some serious one punch power with that. And Connor's cutting off the octagon here early. Good combination. The oh, spin again. Again, hard shot. Slick and rip by Mendez. Very nice straight left. Just miss. Connor with some beautiful boxing here. Total strikes. McGregor again and again. Huge takedown. Fourth takedown for Mendez. He's doing a lot of damage here. He stepped over. He's looking for the neck. Looking for the neck. Chad is excellent at this. This is his technique. Oh, get, him down. get in. Can he get it? Lost no. it. Lost it in the back up. Uppercut. McGregor. Chad can't stand Great in front of him like this. Mendez fires back. Looks for another takedown. Not this Connor time. stuffed it. With 20 seconds to go. Big deep breath by Chad Mendez. Listen to this place. Oh, big shot by McGregor. Look at the clock closely. Ten seconds. Oh, he's out. Could he finish him here? A fight with Jose Aldo that will be easily the biggest fight in the history of the UFC. Give me your thoughts on that. In my opinion, Jose went running. I had bigger injuries in this leading up to this fight than that bruised rib, and I still showed up here and performed. So in my eyes, Jose's gone running. If he wants to come back, he can come back, but I swear to God, his day will come.